Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Hajra and today I am going to talk about fibroids. Introduction The uterus also called the womb, the female reproductive organ where a baby grows during pregnancy. Fibroids refer to non-cancerous growths that can develop in the tissue of the uterus. This is a common health condition affecting women in the reproductive ages between 16 to 50 years. Types of fibroids Fibroids are classified based on their location in the uterus. The different types of fibroids include intramural fibroids. These are embedded in the muscular wall of the uterus and are quite common. Subserosal fibroids these extend into the outer uterine layer. Submucosal fibroids, these extend into the cavity of the uterus. Cervical fibroids, these develop at the extends into the uterus called the cervix. Causes of the fibroids. The exact cause of fibroid formation is not clear. However, it may be associated with high estrogen level in a woman's body. Consumption of estrogen containing birth control pills. Genetic factors as you can develop fibroids if a close relative has it. Fibroid formation has also been linked with obesity and the consumption of red meat. Signs and symptoms. The common signs and symptoms of fibroids include menorrhagia or heavy painful periods, lower back or leg pain, anemia, abdominal discomfort, especially with large fibroids, constipation, frequent urination, pain during intercourse. If you are planning to get pregnant or are already pregnant, fibroids can cause you to have fertility problems pregnancy problems, labor problems. Diagnosis. Fibroids may not cause any symptoms and are usually diagnosed during a routine pelvic examination. Tests used to identify fibroids include abdominal ultrasound scan, MRI scan, laparoscopy, where a narrow tube with the camera is inserted through abdomen to examine outer surface of the uterus. Hysteroscopy Hysteroscopy where a narrow tube with the camera is inserted through the vagina to examine the inner side of the uterus. Treatment Depends on the location of fibroids, the intensity of symptoms, and whether you are planning on the pregnancy. You may not require treatment if symptoms are absent or mild. When treatment is indicated, the different approaches include medications, including non steroid anti-inflammatory drugs and birth control pills to control pain and reduce menstrual flow. Placement of intrauterine device or IUD which releases the hormone levonorgestrel that controls growth of uterine lining. Surgery may be recommended for extreme cases where conservative options fail to provide relief. The different surgical approaches include myomectomy, the removal of fibroids from the wall of the uterus, hysterectomy, Complete or partial removal of the uterus. Uterine fibroid immobilization, UFE, a procedure to block the blood supply to the fibroid area. Endometrial ablation, removal of the lining inside the uterus with heat. Percutaneous laser ablation, where a needle is inserted through the skin and tissue to read the fibroids which are then removed by the laser. Ultrasound surgery where high energy ultrasound waves are used to shrink the fibroids. 
Your doctor will discuss the various options available to you and recommend the most appropriate treatment based on your situation and if you wish to become a pregnant in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video.